It's Dave Erasmo from American Rock School. I got my, I'm sporting my logos. These are, uh, by the way, I got an extremely cool logo. And uh, if you want some merchandise, go to our website, AmericanRockSchool.com. This is a video response to somebody sent me an email request about uh, some Randy Rhodes licks from a sound check in Texas. Randy Rhodes was the original guitar player for the Ozzy Osbourne band. He died in a plane crash. Uh, tragically, he was one of my favorite guitarists. And um, so in this video response, I just want to tell you what scales he's using. He sounds like he's tuned standard. I tuned to the video. First thing he does is strums a G. And then he plays a diatonic scale in the key of C major or A minor up on the um, uh, ninth, starting in the ninth fret. So the notes of the scale are uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. But what he ends up doing is a lot of times adding an F sharp in there. And that's the cool note that he lands on um, a lot of time to make it sort of sound ominous. So he goes, and then he goes, something in that range, which is uh, just licks on between the fifth and seventh fret on the third string and the G string. He does a lot of licks that have a, uh, a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs in there. Stuff like that. Very uh, legato, lots of hammer-ons, lots of pull-offs, and stuff like that. Um, the second thing, later in the video, if you can see where I am right here, plays an A, plays the note A on the second fret of the third string. Then he basically plays in the same mode, but starts on the second, <clears throat> I'm sorry, starts on the second string, fifth fret, E, F, G, fifth, sixth and eighth frets and plays that scale pattern down and lands on an F sharp. Whoops. So he plays the F in the scale pattern. Whoop. So there's no real rhyme or reason of this lick that I'm, as I play it down, it's really just the scale pattern and a series of trills that I'm sort of making up as I go. But, um, so. That's the note that he lands on that makes it sound cool is the F sharp. So here's the scale pattern right here on the second fret, I'm just gonna play it descending. Eighth fret of the, of the second string, G, F natural, sixth fret, E on the fifth fret, I don't, I don't have any fret markers on here, do I? Sorry. Uh, seventh fret of the third string, D, down to the C. Fifth fret, down to the B. Um, got a couple options here. I'm going to play the A on the seventh fret of the fourth string. The G on the fifth fret of the fourth string. F natural, slide down to the E on the second fret. I'm going to follow this scale backwards. D on the fifth fret of the fifth string. C on the third fret, B natural, A on the uh, fifth fret of the sixth string, G on the third fret, and there's where you want to end on the second fret of the sixth string on the F sharp. That's what makes it sound cool. I actually didn't listen to the rest of the video. I think uh, I did, but I didn't notice anything else on there. I hope that helps you. All right. It's an A minor scale. Play it descending. Use a lot of pull-offs and hammer-ons. That, that works out pretty well right there. All right. Have a good one.